hello welcome to learn with pratap so in this video we'll be going through burn file input output so in this video we'll be learning about the file input output api from the burn so let's get started by the first one reading a json file okay so before that please make sure you have burn installed if you want to see if the burn is installed you can say burn dash v and you can see i have burn version 1 installed if you haven't then go to burn.sh and install burn cool okay so now we have burn installed so let me open a terminal so currently i don't have any file here let me create a new file so i'll say data.json and here let me create few json so i can say name and i'll say learn with pratap channel i'll say youtube okay so i have this json file so now let me go and create an index.js and here i want to read a file right so in order to read a file i can simply say const path is equal to the path of the file which is basically data.json and now i can use file const file is equal to bun.file this will take a path this will be a path and here we can say const contents is equal to await file.json and let me print my contents console.log contents okay so if you remember like in javascript when we use await i need to wrap this inside a async function right but when you're using bun i really don't have to wrap this inside a async function so i can simply go and run so i can say bun run index.js cool we get the content of the json right and also i can check the type so i can say console.log and i can say file.type so this will print this type of the file so let me run again one run index.js so you can see we have application json character set udf8 okay so let's go to the next one we will check if a file exists let me comment this and now let's check if a file exists so this should be pretty simple so we can simply say console.log we'll say file dot exist since this returns a promise so i can say await and let me run this code again true and let me say data name dot json so this file doesn't exist right so i should get false so let me run this code again it says no such file or directory cool right so let's continue to the next one so let's read a file to a buffer so this should be pretty simple so we have the file so let me comment this part also i really don't need it so let me comment this so i can say const array buffer equal to await file dot array buffer const let me assign to the buffer const buffer equal to buffer dot from and i can pass the array buffer so let me print the buffer let me run this code so now we have this buffer so we have converted the file into a array buffer and then to a buffer okay so to read the file into a buffer instance firstly we use this array buffer and then we use buffer form to create buffer from the array buffer okay so let's continue so let's read a file as a string if i want to read the file as a string so i can simply say const text equal to await file dot text so let me print the text so let me run this code so you see we get this file as a text cool right so let's continue so let's get the mime type of a file so let me comment this and let me write the code here itself so if you want to get the mime type of a file so we can say console.log and you can say file.type and if i run this code again so you see we have this application json a character set utf8 so the next one let's read a file to an unit 8 array 
So let me comment this and let me add again. These two lines are always same in for every case. So I have this file. So now I want to have this buffer. So let's say const array buffer equal to await file dot array buffer and let me convert this to a byte so i can say byte array is equal to new unit 8 array and then i can pass the array buffer okay and then i can print console.log byte array so let me print the first byte and also i can print the length of the byte right so i can say byte array dot length so let me run this code so the first byte contains 123 and the total byte array consists of 61 bytes right so to read the file into a unit at array instance we retrieve the contents by using one dot file and we convert the file into an array buffer and then we pass this array buffer to a unit at array and then we print the first byte and we also print the length of the byte okay so let's continue so now let's read a file to an array buffer so that should be pretty simple so let me comment this again and let me add the line here i can say const buffer is equal to await file dot so we have already done this one so this is our array buffer so i can simply copy and paste here and i can print the buffer so let me run this code so you see we have this array buffer cool so let's continue and now let's watch a directory for a changes for this so let me comment all of this and in, in the top of the file i'll say import and i'll import the watch from my file system from fs so i will import my watch okay and then i'll create a watcher equal to watch and here i will import the meta directory so it should be pretty simple i can say import dot meta dot directory and then i'll get a callback function which will basically be event and it'll be the file name so here i can say console dot log and let me say detected event in file name okay so let me run this code so now it doesn't detect anything so let me go and add a new key so i'll say here bun and i'll say 1.0.0 so let me save so you see it detected change in the data.json right let me remove this it detected a change in the data.json so this way i've created a watcher which will watch for the change in this particular file or maybe if i create a new file here so let me say text.txt so you see so whenever i created a file it also detects the change right so in that case i rename into text.txt and if i delete this file so it detected a rename in the txt that means when we say rename it basically means creation or deletion cool right so let's continue the next one so the next one is read a file as a readable stream so that should be pretty simple let me copy this let me comment this again let me add here let me uncomment these two lines and then let me say const stream is equal to await file dot stream console dot log so let me print the stream and let me run this code so we get the stream which is basically a readable stream right so if i want to print this stream i can simply say for await and i can say const chunk of stream console.log chunk so let me run this code again so we get the unit 8 array right so these are the chunks cool so with this we have learned few file input output apis about bun and we'll be exploring more about bun in the next videos so if you like this video please drop a like also i've created a to-do project using bun you can check out from the information section or i'll add the link in the description so see you in the next one